Okay, so let's back this up a second. My girlfriend and I actually got into Washington coming from Glacier National Park in Montana, then headed down into Oregon. We stayed in Wapato, Washington, I believe that's how you pronounce it, in a cute little Airbnb uh, before we stayed in Seattle and then heading down the coast. So after we visited Cannon Beach and Seaside, we hiked another small beach that I can't actually remember the name of, and then found a really great vantage point to take some photos. At this point we drove north 
to Cape Kewanda, which is the, I believe, biggest sand hill on the Pacific coast, to kind of relax, take some photos, and wrap up our day. From here, thankfully, we were only about a 20 minute drive to our final campsite on the west coast here. So we pretty much just jetted back there before it was dark out, set up camp, and passed out. Waking up the next morning, we headed to Wyoming for a couple days uh, to stay in Grand Teton and Yellowstone. I'm gonna throw in a bunch of the photos from Portland, Seattle, and some other miscellaneous places that didn't really fit in without video clips in now. So that pretty much concluded our coastal adventure in Oregon and in Washington. But we spent another couple days, like I said, in Wyoming. And next week's video is actually going to be that video of us in Wyoming. Before we get into talking about the best photos from the Oregon coast, I want to make sure I plug some prints. So I actually took some of my favorite photos. I think it's like a 10 or 11 photos from the trip through my website uh, and offer them in various colors, sizes, uh, etc. Any of the prints you purchase will directly go into funding a trip either next spring or next summer. I really want to do some trips down in the southwest and then also go back to Washington and hit up some of the uh, beautiful national parks there. Otherwise all of your support including just watching this video is always appreciated. Otherwise let's talk about some of the best photos from the trip. So I really like the one of the hikers standing by the ocean with the spray in the background. I think the timing is just right and the composition and colors all make for such a great photo. Next is the one of my girlfriend Maddie standing away from me facing the coast. I think this one's really cool. It adds kind of a anonymous to it while still having some identifying uh, features of like her tattoos on her and being really sharp and in focus. Uh, I also like that she has the camera hanging from her shoulder facing back. Um, honestly, I didn't even think about most of this as I was shooting it, but they turned out great. Next is Maddie in the hot tub at our Airbnb. It actually kind of reminds me of a Wes Anderson shot, how symmetrical and straight on it is. Uh, I just like the composition and again, colors and the Mumia 7, the sharpness just never ceases to amaze me. Next is a shot at a beach on the coast. Uh, I really like the foreground of the fence in it and I like how far in the distance you can see the rock formations out of the ocean. Uh, I also really like this, the harshness of the lighting it almost looks as if there was like a big flash use or something i don't know next is this couple walking on the beach this is a 35 millimeter shot so was the last one i forgot to mention that i like how far away the couple is and how small they are yet you can still see them and make them out very clearly as the lone subjects in the shot i really also like the mistiness and compositionally how the island ends uh, right before the photo ends looks really nice as well I really like this one of Cape Kawanda. It looks just, it just looks really unique and almost something I would picture off the coast of like Africa or South America and not the Pacific Northwest with all the sand. Having to climb a huge sand hill also makes this one especially satisfying. I also really like this alleyway one. Um, 
again, I just think it's a really interesting photo to look at. There's lots of little things going on in it. The colors and sharpness, again, on the Mamiya 7 and Portra 400 are just chef's kiss. And lastly, maybe my favorite photo from uh, Washington and Oregon was the photo of this vehicle. I actually don't know what it is at all. <laughs> it's some old vintage car in like a teal color. But yeah, I just like the colors, the composition. I like the wheels on it. I think it's just kind of a nice timeless photo that could have been taken in the last 30, 40, 50 years and you wouldn't know. Also before I outro, I'm going to throw in a little quick tour of our Airbnb from this uh, trip in Wapato because I think it's just really dope. It was in an old Airstream. Yeah, it was air conditioned, had a nice fridge. There was a shower in it, a big queen size bed. It was super nice. It was on a winery where we actually enjoyed some wine. Neither Maddie or I are big wine goers, but trying it was something different. We're super interested in staying in these unique places. On Airbnb, you can actually select, I think it's called unique stays, and it's all these locations that are different than just like a normal apartment or house. Uh, in this case, it was a parked trailer on a winery. I've seen there's tree houses in Idaho. There's a giant potato you can stay in. It keeps things especially interesting on vacation and can make for great, I almost want to say mundane photo opportunities because the mundane, like staying in a hotel, becomes very interesting by staying in a location like this. All right, so that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Make sure you stay tuned for next week. Uh, as it'll be us in Wyoming and it has some of my favorite photos and clips from the whole trip so you're going to want to make sure you stay tuned for that otherwise until next time guys thank you and peace out